Now on to the American approach. The American approach will produce the same six terms, but it will save you from having to identify the Russian patterns. It will simplify them by unwrapping them. Here's how it works. You're invited to repeat the first two columns of the determinant right outside of the determinant, like this. Now the six Russian patterns will become straight lines. Let's start with the three positive patterns. One will be 159 as before, but the second one now becomes a straight line, starting from 2 and going down and to the right. 2, 6, 7. Here it is, right here. And the remaining positive pattern will be a straight line that starts from this entry right here and once again goes down and to the right parallel to these two lines. It is 3, 4, 8. And here is the term right here. So the three relatively complicated patterns now became exceedingly simple. Now on to the negative patterns. The negative patterns will too be straight lines, and they'll be straight lines going up and to the right from these three entries, 7, 8, and 9. Here's the first one, 7, 5, 3. Here it is, minus 3 times 5 times 7. The second one is 8, 6, 1. And here it is, last, minus 6 times 8 times 1. And finally, 9, 4, 2. And here it is, 2 times 4 times 9 with a minus sign. So that's the American approach. Its great advantage is that you don't have to remember these patterns. However, it has a few disadvantages, and those are the reason why I actually don't like this approach. And here they are. Well, first of all, the American approach requires less thinking and more writing. And less thinking is actually a problem because in the context of solving a larger problem, not thinking for a few minutes may actually cause you to lose your train of thought. It's better to continue thinking and exercising your brain throughout working on a complicated problem. Secondly, it's more writing. And if you're prepared to do more writing, you might as well use a more sophisticated technique for calculating determinants that we'll learn in just a little bit based on Gaussian elimination. You will find that it's quicker, more reliable, and simpler. And finally, I think it's a stretch to say that these patterns are so much simpler than the original Russian patterns. I really don't think that these patterns are that complicated. Once you do two practice problems, I believe you'll be as good as anybody at identifying the patterns directly within the determinant. But in any case, I don't mean to discourage you from using this approach. If you like it and find it natural, then by all means, go ahead and use it. This was the American approach to 3x3 determinants.